Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to look at how to create these animated stripes that are in perspective. So the first thing we're going to do is to bring a fusion composition clip into the timeline and then let's take it uh, directly to the fusion page. So let's bring a background note and then let's change the color of the background note first to uh, whichever color that you prefer. Uh, and then uh, we're going to find a grid warp note uh, which you can find under warp uh, bring that in and then we're going to first of all change the magnet type uh, from region to selected and then let's change the x grid size to one and then let's change the y grid size to two now let's zoom out the preview screen a little bit so that it's easier for us to see we're going to select the top two square dots on the left hand side let's hold down the shift key and then move them to the right holding down the shift key is going to ensure that they are moving in a perfectly straight line let's do the same for the other two dots on the right hand side uh, push them over to the left but one thing you will notice is that the edges are rounded at this point so let's change the subdivision setting uh, to zero uh, now as you will see the edges are perfectly sharp they are super sharp all right let's uh, come back to the grip warp node do the same for the bottom two dots uh, once again we're going to hold down the shift key as we are moving them uh, so this will ensure that they are uh, in a uh, straight line and now let's just replicate them uh, replicate these lines let's copy uh, these two nodes and then paste them and then we're going to use the pasted nodes as a foreground so let's just connect it back to uh, the other two nodes uh, so now let's come back to this new background node change the color first of all to another color and now let's go to the merge node go to the center setting and then just move it over to the right a little bit so that the lines are side by side and we're going to go to this uh, new grid warp node uh, select the bottom two dots and then just move them over a little bit to the right but one thing you will notice is that the perspective is also going to change uh, naturally as well so you don't have to do any extra work so what we're going to do at this point is to replicate uh, this line one more time and then let's uh, change the color first of all and then let's move the lines over uh, to the right and then let's change the bottom two dots uh, change their position move them over and now let's uh, replicate these lines just one last time so we're going to basically just repeat uh, what we uh, did earlier uh, change the color change the position of the line and then let's change the position of the dots as well and one last thing i want to call out here is that you can also uh, manually change the perspective if you like uh, but just keep in mind that if you were to do that uh, make sure that uh, it's proportional to the rest of the lines and uh, so that they don't look out of place all right so now let's go animate these bad boys uh, let's uh, bring in a rectangle masking node uh, connected to the first background node and we're going to stretch out uh, this uh, masking node so that it covers the entire screen we're going to keyframe the center parameter and now let's move over a few frames uh, this can be however many frames you feel is appropriate for uh, the, you know, the effect that you're going for here. Uh, let's just keyframe one more time by moving this masking node out of the screen. So now let's come to the spline editor. We're going to select the center setting here, uh, change the interpolation for these two keyframes. Uh, so now guys, uh, let's go ahead and have a look. You will see that we have a nice little animation going on here for this first stripe. So we're going to now leverage the duplicate node to uh, continue to uh, duplicate this masking node for us. So let's do that. Uh, let's uh, leave the copies at two and then change time offset to minus five or minus 10. Uh, you can manually change that. But the idea is that uh, we want to we want some sort of delay between the first and the second masking node. So let's just leave it at minus five. And now let's connect this duplicate node uh, to the second background node. So if we have a look at it right now, guys, you will see that there is a bit of a delay between the first and second stripe. Let's copy this duplicate node and then paste it a couple more times, one for each of the other uh, background nodes. And then let's connect these duplicate nodes one after another. And let's also make sure that the duplicate nodes are connected to its corresponding background nodes. Now, guys, if we have a look, you will see that each stripe is starting off a little bit later than the other. All right, now let's come back to the edit page. Uh, let this affect a render. 
and this is pretty much it guys uh, so i hope this gives you some idea on how to animate these stripes in the venture result fusion and i uh, hope this helps as always i will see you next time